I'm sitting uh, in the basement. I've got Porter behind me. Can't really see him that well either. Yeah, Porter, Porter, Porter. He's there. Uh, this is my <laughs> my high school art project. <laughs> no, we got some Cat Six cable here, and I'm doing uh, punch downs into the patch panel. Um, just getting things ready. Once this is done, I will start my testing of each of each port, and then do some crazy cable management to get all this nice and looking good. There. I didn't buy any rails for the uh, for the kit, so I have to do my best. But this is basically my day. It's just networking stuff. This is the gist of it. Quick update here. So this is not its final form, <laughs> but um, this is, you know, technically the, the server situation here. I should probably get it more light over here. There we go. So that is the, the core of the setup. Um, on the bottom will be a printer. And then at the top here, I'll, I'm buying another shelf. And at the top will be a, uh, the receiver, Xbox, Apple TV, all that good stuff will go up there. But this is pretty much the 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 base, you know, version of it. So pretty pretty good. Oh hi Porter. Hi. He's afraid of the furnace. <laughs> but uh, Heather's coming over now to uh, to paint this wall with um, fireproof uh, paint. We can't. You guys know the story. I can't get into it. But basically, we're gonna paint this wall. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. But I am very happy with this uh, this setup. I'm actually not. I'm gonna do a little more cable management before uh, I help Heather paint. But this is. Um, I'm I'm really impressed. I think it looks it looks tight for sure. I would have loved to have gotten the rack mount Synology, the RS eighteen fifteen uh, or RS eight fifteen um, to go here, and then have the expansion unit underneath it with four more drives. Instead, I have um, I'm taking up one, two, three, four U's instead of two for my 8-drive setup, but I had room to spare, so it just had to happen. Uh, I also might end up moving this guy down to here if the printer doesn't take up much room, but I don't really know how big the printer is going to be, so we'll have to, we'll have to see. But uh, this is a pretty good idea what the network's going to look like. I'm, I'm pretty happy to see it all coming together like this. And they've got a bunch of 2x6s. Look at how amazing the Golf is. <laughs> the sport wagon, 2x6x8 perfectly fitting there. Also, it's been pretty warm, so we got the solar panels exposed, finally. It uh, covered in snow the past few days, so it's nice to see. It is the next day, so yesterday was Monday, the day is Tuesday. Uh, so the mudding, second coat of mudding is done on the downstairs. So this wall was done by the previous guys, but our guy came over and did all the sheetrock down here. He worked with me on uh, running, you see here, some uh, three audio cables and a power cable through. But we did, uh, I basically helped him for about eight hours yesterday doing all the sheetrock. He and I went through and did a ton of work. So, you know, um, taped, it's two coats of mud now. So drywall sheetrock is hung throughout the entire basement. So it's, uh, it's finally certified to be occupiable space from the, um, the, the city town inspector. One thing that has to be done is that um, Heather and I paint the foam board over here. And once again, we just couldn't paint this. We couldn't sheetrock this because plumbers had already come through. So here we are. We are going to uh, paint this. Uh, this has to be opened back up again, actually, because this is a this is a crawl space into a, a three quarter crawl space, basically underneath the second bedroom. We gotta cut that open. They're gonna cover uh, that dirt with plastic do a bunch of insulating in there and then they're going to put a uh, foam board up over the hole for which I'll have to sheetrock again but he just didn't want to cut too many pieces so he just made it simple and they can cut it open if they need to. You can see where the the hole starts right here and it goes all the way across to about there and up. Uh, final thing that has to happen for the same guy is that we, um, well two things have to happen. We're going to cut this open for access under the stairs and then he's going to sheetrock under the stairs. And once Jim is done framing in the utility room, there's still some two by sixes that have to go over there. Or I think two by eights over there and then two by eights over here. Uh, once that's all framed in, here's the door obviously, uh, he'll come back and sheetrock the outside of it, not the inside. We're not gonna put a ceiling up or inside framing or um, sheetrock in the utility room because it's just 
server, utility sink, washer dryer, that kind of thing. And then a few months from now, we will put a uh, ceiling in this room here. So that's obviously a long-term plan, but for now we at least can come down here and, and, and legally, you know, spend time down here without worrying about uh, dying in a awful, terrible uh, incident. So I'm gonna call this actually the, the 220 update because you know, it's really a continuation of yesterday's work. But yeah, uh, one thing we need to do that's custom on here actually, so this is the return pipe for the city sewer. And it comes down at a slight angle until it goes to the return at the very end over there. You see right there. But once again, the foam board can't be exposed. So one thing we have to do extra that, um, so what's gonna happen is this is gonna be a toilet. So we're gonna be able to sit there and, and face this direction and uh, make poo poo. So we have to raise this room up a little bit, this little half bath, uh, raise the room up slightly and have a pump that goes into the city sewer, which is probably gonna go into this little area here. Um, but I don't want to sheetrock that in because over the summer we're going to add a half bath to this spot. But I also have to be able to sheetrock it over because there's an exposed foam board. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him build a little thing that goes over the pipe and closes it up. And then when we get the plumbing done, then he'll come back and cover the whole pipe up with sheetrock so it'll be hidden. And it'll just kind of remain as a little shelf for magazines and your phone while you're uh, poo-pooing. But... Um, it's kind of an awkward situation, but we pretty much had to box the whole thing in because it was the easiest way to, to make this um, pass code. So that's the downstairs update. Pretty, pretty stoked to have this done. Looking forward to having the utility room completely framed in and she rocked in. <sighs> Happy day.